Every battle, I understood this from young, because mama told me things like, Maria, never change to be accepted by people. So she, she knocked that in me at age 11. 10, 11, so I've been square since then, right? That's what she told me. So right there with Matthew 6.33, which is sermon she preached up at Cedar Hill, the Joes were there. That's why I've loved Cedar Hill so much. She preached it, I remember being so, wow, my mama preaching from Matthew 6.33. I said, that's my scripture for life since age 11. I understood from that it's about holiness. Any favor you get will be because you got clean hands and a pure heart. And any rough moment you experience, trust God. Because he never promised us a life without trials and troubles and just drama. You know how much drop? Give me a break. God even says, listen, <clears throat> people, give this a read. Plenty trouble. Plenty drama. If God presents that in his word, he's trying to tell you that in your life. Yes, sir. That's a beautiful image right there. Making sure they're okay. That's why we need men in the church. Make sure the younger ones are okay. Amen. Everything's a lesson. When you understand this and you go through, you say, we're coming out of it. We're coming out. <laughs> Might be a little bit of a roller coaster. <laughs> Might be a bumpy ride. But trust you me, <laughs> if you're a true worshiper, just put your seatbelt on. You know. <laughs> Soon you'll come to the hill. Oh, thank God it's slowing down. <laughs> Loved roller coasters back in the day. Bermuda Church needs you as an intercessor. Because there are far too many who know not our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So first of all, church, before I talk about the sinner, you see the importance of Samuel. Raised from a boy, that's another thing. Raised from a child to intercede. What are we raising our children to do? You, you want them to be a saint after you raised them or didn't. Have them in God's house. Take them out of God's house. Impute your attitude on them. I'm mad, so I'm, now my children are going to suffer. That's, that ain't God. No day of the week. So church, through this sermon, you say, Pastor, you know what? My generation needs me. And I need to make sure I have clean hands. <laughs> Trust you me, I do this quite often. I ain't telling you. When I go through and I've got the human part, you know, even Jesus, he, he wept. He, he was in agony. So Maria ain't no superwoman. But I know who, I, I know who to take everything to. Woo. Hallelujah. Church, you're going through God needs you as an intercessor. You're saying, no, you know what? I want to make sure my hands are clean, meaning my heart is clean. If I'm talking to you and you say, I want to recommit that effort today. State it afresh. I want you to stand to your feet. Cameras are always on me. You know that. I never put you on TV for this. Because these, to me, are private moments that I want to honor I thank you Father God I thank you for your people God I stand behind the raised place a pulpit and I thank you for these your people they've gathered they've listened they praise worship and they heard your word and God I'm praying now God that even from today a supernatural level of commitment to take upon themselves the ability to pray for others. Oh God, your kingdom come, your will be done. 
I thank you for every person that stands and says one more time, I commit myself. God, we commit ourselves unto you, God, so that you may use us for your glory, that we may be a Samuel seeing what's happening and praying and warning people. The enemy is on his way. The enemy is here, oh God. So God, we thank you for that. Give them words to say, an ear to hear, and a mouth to speak. So God, we thank you for it. Bless your people, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen. Thank you, church. You can take your seats and listen. God will give you opportunity this week. You, you just watch. I'm excited. Beautiful unity in the house today. Now, I don't know. There may be someone in here or on social media, and you say, I am not a Christian. If you're sitting next to someone, check on them. Have they given their heart to Jesus? All right, just make sure. Now, of course, I, I'm not talking about two people you know. You know, we know them. A visitor been coming frequently okay just just check on them all right do you want to give your heart to Jesus today do you want me to come down there are you going to give God, Jesus your heart today would you like to become a Christian today okay we're going to keep on praying with you for you okay but you're doing wonderful you keep on coming amen you just keep on coming we celebrate you amen how about you have you accepted Jesus into your heart yet as your Lord and Savior? Okay, okay, good. I can take the next step then. All right, we'll be talking. We'll be talking because you just sat a whole lot right there. Hallelujah, Jesus. Good stuff. Who's looking for a church home? Might be someone today say, I need a church home. I need a pastor. Who... Hallelujah. I can take you in today. Do you mind being on live camera? Come on up here today. Come on. Anybody else? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Husband, come stand by me, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deaconess, come stand behind your sister or beside your sister, support her. Hallelujah. Sister Donna, you've been coming here for a spell. You've known me pretty much all of my life. Who would have known? I'm going to take my time right here. That the little girl who's here, you up Bali Road and Corn Road, will one day be a pastor and receive you into membership. Those are some of the most precious moments. You know, there are moments in your life you just remember. I want to thank you, Donna, for you never roughed me up. You just did my hair, which lasted quite a while because Mama always did a crooked, you know, Mama's story, right? Today, we connect through the kingdom for godly purpose because there is a work in the kingdom that demands commitment. Sister Donna Trot. Do you confess today Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Are you willing to abide by the standard of God's holy word? Are you willing to give up your time, talent, and treasury to the kingdom work here at Shekinah Worship Center? Do you recognize that as your pastor, that I am under a mandate from God to give direction and correction to the people of God? Are you willing to receive that? Well, today, on behalf of Elder Seaman and I, we are glad to extend to you, woo, woo, the right hand of fellowship. I pledge to serve you with integrity and honesty and to do the work that God has commissioned me to do on his behalf in your life. God bless you and welcome to Shekinah Worship Center. Wow, wow. This is so impromptu. Congra um, congratulate 
And then put on a fast song, because we about to have people come up. This is like impromptu, whatever. I'm excited. I didn't even know this was going to happen today. Last day of the fast. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Come on, Every word of worship, they want to go. Every prayer. Dear God, dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for today. God, I need intercession. God, I need intercession. I need someone to pray for me. I need someone to pray for me because I am a sinner. Because I'm a sinner. Today, today, I want to receive Jesus. I want to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. And pray for myself. And pray for myself. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. Yet today, yet today, I confess Jesus. I confess Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for dying on the cross. For me. For me. For my sin. For my sin. And today, and today, I receive you in my heart. I receive you in my heart. Today, today, to stay, to stay forever, forever. Amen. Amen. If you did that, welcome to the family of God. 
Now, the truth is, you need a pastor. You need guidance. A place that you can trust to disseminate, to give God's word out in a responsible way. You see an email going up now, swimatlogic.bl. You are welcome, and we welcome you here at Shekinah. Not just you, but your family. We want the whole family because we must train the little ones. Amen?